Hello everyone. Today I'm going to do something on um, warded locks. And uh, the reason behind that is the first lock that I opened up was a uh, pin tumbler. I mean the first lock that I picked. I've opened up other locks. But the first lock that I picked was a pin tumbler. Master lock number three. And I started picking locks um, like master locks. And I, I was having a pretty good success against them. Chinese versions of them, things like that, pin tumblers. Well, then I would run into these, and somehow, I don't know how, I managed to single pin pick these occasionally. They would be the things that would defeat me the most, the cheap little locks. And that's when I realized uh, much later that they're warded locks. And uh, warded locks are fairly cheap. They operate on the principle of you have a key... Uh, I shaved the one that was for this one down, but you have various uh, wards that are in the way. And the wards are just basically physical things in the way to prevent the key from turning. Many people show it like with like fingers, you know. you have uh, If you have a warding like that, and you have a key this like this, you know, it would go in and allow it to go past usually down here on the very bottom is the uh, the trigger for this one uh, this thing I tried to uh, shave down and make like a shave key and it didn't work but you can get a set of uh, warded lock picks uh, and like it this one acts like it's a double um, let me get this in here properly now here's a <laughs> The easiest locks in the world to open. Don't want to open on camera. All right. So that's all you need to do. You get a warded lock set. And one of them will usually work. In this case, two or three work. Uh, the long double time one works. And then this little small one works in here too. If you get it right. It's going to make a liar out of me. But I did open it with this smaller one so basically what I'm trying to say is try out your different uh, things but what I was going to demonstrate is how easy look it opened with that one also I just wanted to demonstrate how easily these things open so for the longest time my um, my pick for warded locks was this a paper clip um, it just goes in to the bottom and bam I mean it opens them that that quickly what else will open it well I had a broken pick you know that was pretty mangled and everything and uh, you can get that in there too the advantage to these uh, pick sets uh, like warded pick sets are uh, they're spaced just right for you so that when you put it in there and turn you hit it in this case I'm trying to find the the, the manipulating or actuator Paul back there and you really don't have to tension the lock see how that opened with that I was looking at it and I said man maybe they're shimmable also so of course they are you just gotta and this one's about to break as I've used it so many times, but you just mash your shim down in there to where it's like flat against the surface. Try to avoid those little wardings or those little rivets. And then you twist it around and pull it up and it opens. Alright, so it's it's shimmable. It's um, paper clippable. It's broken pickable. And it's warded pickable. So, the only advantage to this type of lock is you don't have springs and pins and everything. So you can use it in a dusty environment and it will still function. And like I said, there, there's the little nub one. It will work in a lot of uh, uh, crappy conditions. But in this case, you know, it only had one, one uh, pawl on the hasp. I'm just trying to see if I can get this thing. This looks a lot like my... Uh, improvise one. 
and it should work, but maybe this guy is too thick right there. So, I used to have more warded locks, but uh, I only have one right now, and I, I would show you that basically the same principle works on all of them. Uh, you just get down in there, and this one doesn't want to work. I think the warding is actually bumping into this piece here, because it, it certainly works with this one, but you can see that it's um, much thinner. But I would look at these keyways, and I would go, wow what the hell is this this thing looks almost like a shutter lock see how easy that is it looks almost like a shutter lock and that this thing turns around that's when i was trying to tension this i mean it's only kind of funny to people who pick locks anybody else won't really understand what the hell i'm talking about but um yeah the easiest to open locks in the world were some of the most challenging ones for me because Sorry about that, I had an incoming phone call and it interrupted my uh, video. But all I was going to say is the easiest locks in the world were uh, some of the most difficult locks for me, basically because I didn't know what I was running up against. I thought I was going against pin tumbler. Easy way to identify them is this little hump right here and the shape of the keyway. Uh, don't let the uh, don't let these things um, scare you any not that anybody's scared by warded locks but they're pretty easy to pick and they're pretty easy to get around and really the only thing you should use these things on is some place that you really don't uh, maybe against children you know like a swimming pool uh, for three-year-olds that can't even get out of the crib I think that maybe they'd have a hard time picking locks but I could be wrong these are pretty easy to pick. Wouldn't use them to guard against anything other than um, giving the an illusion of something being locked. Because really, I mean, this is not going to stop uh, much of anybody as far as a locking mechanism. So there you go. That was the conclusion to that one. I'll have to splice these together because the other one, like I said, ended. I was wrapping it up anyway. Hope everybody's having a good day. And since we're... At the last second here, I'll show you my cat. She's out on the balcony, checking things out, looking at the swimming pool. And it's a nice, toasty day. It's going to be over 100 probably today. No, I don't have any food for you. Sorry. Don't come in. Right, you can come in. It's your house, too.